Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa Grace and today I have a fun outdoor painting adventure planned. I'm going to be painting flowers at my grandma's house. This is her backyard, her beautiful garden. I'm here because my family gathered together to celebrate my birthday, which is really fun. And what better than painting flowers to do on your birthday? Anyways, my family said I shouldn't grab my sketchbook or something and I wanna get started painting. So I think I'm gonna go open some sort of gift and see what that's all about. <laughs> we have just one present we want you to open first. Oh, okay. The little one. The little one. This one? Uh-huh. This is my big sea store from your best friend. I get a handmade sketchbook. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so many flowers. I'm so excited. <laughs> They're so beautiful. It's gonna be so fun. This feels like the birthday activity of my dreams. I love being outside and painting. It's like the perfect combination. So right now I decided I wanted to just give myself a little thin wash of like a background green to kind of represent the trees that are in the background. Then I can paint the little flowers on top in the branch. I'm trying to decide if I want to do the little blooms that go up or if the ones that are like coming right at me. I think I'm going to do the ones that are kind of coming right at me, that way I can get a little bit of all different angles. So if you'll notice, I'm not painting with any black paint and you know, you might think, how can you get any dark colors? Well, the pro tip whenever you, you are working with paint, sometimes it's even better to not use black paint is using a red, a really pigmented red and blue, and you can get this really, really dark purple. And especially whenever you're painting nature, purples tend to translate better as like dark shadow colors than a black wood. It kind of gives a little bit more life and aliveness, I guess the same thing, to the painting. 
I'm adding a little bit of yellow to mine to just go ahead and make it more of a brown purple. My grandma just had this basket and we were looking for something to hold my stuff in and now I'm obsessed. It's like the cutest thing ever. I feel like a little garden painting fairy or something. <laughs> Look at me actually making progress and not spending the first half of my time on one small detail. <laughs> Managing your space on a small palette is kind of tricky because you only have six, you know, set slots and so it seems like you can only make six colors. But one thing I like to do is just mix on the sides and then, you know, mix on the top. Reuse colors as much as possible. Every time you mix, you don't have to make a completely new color. You can change something you've already made. And so just keeping working from there. And worst comes to worst, you can always wipe off a little spot with your paper towel. My grandma's dog Pogo. Pogo's got personality. <laughs> Pogo! Pogo! I think I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more branches to just kind of tie it all in and then I think I'll be done with this little study. So I'm using these heavy body acrylic paints right now and I haven't really used acrylic paints in like any kind of plein air kind of situation sketching or going out with a painting um, but I really love these paints because of how pigmented they are and so you can water them down a lot and still have a lot of pigment or you can use them they're called heavy body because they've got a lot of thickness to them and you can make some nice texture with them but yeah, that's what paints I'm using. I'm kind of using them similar to gouache right now. And gouache really is just a mix between watercolor and acrylic. So we're going the acrylic route today. So I'm using these acrylics because I didn't even pack my gouaches, my gouache paints. And um, so I was like, what can I paint with? And I had the acrylics, and so that's what I'm using. Bluebird.
on to the next one. This one I think I'm gonna have it kind of cross over the seam because I've never painted with like a true lay flat notebook sketchbook before and since my sister made it that way um, it's like where the spine can fold and the pages can just become like seamless almost and so you can paint right on top of it so I think I'm gonna try that with this Okay, I think I'm gonna start with that same little background wash I already made and give myself a little place to start from. This definitely is nice paper. I find a lot when I'm at school and doing projects, I always think of like, oh, I can make a flower in my sculpture class. Oh, I could design a flower in my design, graphic design class. Oh, I could draw a flower in my drawing class. Just like, I always, I always, I'm always trying to do flowers. <laughs> my goal today with these flowers is really just to have some fun kind of capturing them in a just like a no consequence way, you know? Like, I feel like that's the best part of a sketchbook, having no pressure really to have it be, you know, your final product or the most amazing thing you've ever done, but just a place to have fun and learn a little bit more than you knew before. It's kind of crazy because this garden, my grandma's garden, is the first place I ever painted in plein air with oil paints. So it's kind of like that was a little over a year ago. So it kind of feels like a full circle moment. And lawnmowers. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, that's perfect. <laughs> Thank you.
There's such huge bumblebees on these alien bushes right now. They're like, uh, that big. Good for these alien bushes. <laughs> it's a long strip. <laughs> I hear there's some tulips in the front yard, so I'm gonna go check those out. And that's just what I'm gonna paint next. I, I love tulips. <laughs> finished sketchbook spread of grandma's garden. It turned out so fun. I, I just am obsessed with flowers and spring makes my heart so happy. It's been a long winter season and I'm so glad to be able to paint flowers. Thank you to my sister for this beautiful sketchbook. It was so amazing to paint in it and yeah, this was such a fun time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.